the meeting to order, and Tammy will call roll. Thank you. Bartlett? Here. Hurst? Here. Kittleson? Here. Wiley? Here. Borsa? Here. Johnson? Here. Reeves? Here. 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 Jensen? Here. Here. O'Connor? Here. All opposed are present. Thank you. Are there any communications from older persons this evening? I have, oh, Go Council ahead. President Swadley. Just a quick one. Uh, just a quick update from Landmarks. Uh, we continue to work on the ordinances, and Attorney Dragney is putting some draft language together for us. So I think we've made very good progress, and hopefully uh, we'll get something here soon. Great. Thank you. And I wanted to give a, a huge shout out to Marty Lamers and the fire department and all the donors for the holiday lights display. If you haven't seen it once again this year next to the fire station by in Rotary Park, it's absolutely wonderful. They turn it on as they always do the Friday after Thanksgiving. And there's always a new feature. So take a look, see if you can figure out what's new this year. And you do have to um, drive up and turn on your radio to 88.5, I think. There's a sign that tells you if I'm wrong. But um, really, really nice. So thanks to Marty, the fire department, and all those that donated. Absolutely. I think this coming weekend is Victorian holiday, so um, spend some more time downtown checking out and participating in all those activities. Without further um, communications, we'll move on to our public comment period. We don't have anyone registered to speak at this time. Is there anyone that would like to? Welcome to the government class students that are here tonight. Our consent agenda tonight consists of the November 14th Common Council Minutes, Resolution 160, 2017, which is operator licenses for three folks. And um, that's our consent agenda. I, I move for uh, acceptance of the consent. Second. Motion by Borsma, second by Hirsch. <clears throat> Does anyone wish to remove an item from that consent agenda or make an amendment? Seeing none, all those in favor, aye. 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 Opposed, no. Motion carries. <clears throat> we have no old business this evening. New business begins with a discussion that we have every year about this time. Um, to poll you all for your wishes regarding that second meeting in December. This year, the second council meeting falls on December 26th. And if there are no pressing issues, I guess we'd like to know if you're interested in maybe canceling that meeting. So motion cancel. Second. All right. There's a motion by Ingleberger, second by Truel, to cancel <laughs> the second meeting in December. If something comes up and we need to get together, we'll be in. We'll be in touch and let you know. Thank you. I'm sorry? There is a motion and a second, and I'm just moving right along with the let's do it. But all those in favor, aye. 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 Opposed, no. Motion carries. Thanks, Tammy. I was just moving right along. No. Resolution 161 of 2017 comes from the CACP committee and the Finance Committee. Alderperson O'Connor. Thank you, Mayor. Resolution 161-2017, approving the network infrastructure hardware and software upgrade, not to exceed $83,007. Council Affairs and Policy Committee approved 5 to 0, as did the uh, Finance Committee, and I recommend approval. Move to approve. Second. Thank you. Motion by, by O'Connor, second by Truel. Further comments? Alderperson O'Connor? Uh, this is just a uh, infrastructure upgrade along with... Um, off-site disaster recovery. Uh, John Montgomery's here. If anybody wants to know about bytes and bits and routers and hubs and okay. other words that we don't fully understand, but that's all right. All the prison boards. Just one question: um, in the, <clears throat> This will this uh, include um, the workings of the police department and and uh, who who does this apply to? Um, John, could you come up, please? <clears throat> There is an effort to consolidate all of the items within the police department to get them into the uh, new infrastructure. The only things I will not be able to pull out of the police department are those that are governed by the Department of Justice. Those have to remain 
And could I have a follow up? Sure. And, that, and what about the Stoughton Utilities? That is not under this plan. Thank you. Alderperson Engelberger. Thank you, Your Honor. Is this um, budgeted funds? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Yes. <coughs> Council President Swadley. Thank you, Your Honor. Just to follow up on that, um, previously at finance tonight we talked about carrying some of the funds over because you can't possibly do everything um, within the next month. Mm -hmm. Can you maybe just kind of run us through? I know you've got a lot on here and you're excited about what you're doing. You should have an opportunity to kind of let us and people at home know some of the things that you're doing. Well, what I'm looking at doing is uh, moving more towards a virtual environment and also a redundant environment where we can uh, take the physical servers that we have right now, put them into a virtual environment, which will also aid in any type of a disaster recovery scenario or any type of uh, malware attack or um, viruses that we have because we would then have the ability to roll back to a previous version. It also gives us the ability through the type of licensing that I'm doing to build as many virtual servers as the hardware can handle as far as memory and storage. It's also going to open up the ability for us in 2019 to do an off-site disaster recovery where we can then turn around and replicate servers from here to another location. Thanks, John. Alderperson O'Connor. Uh, what frequency do you back up our information? Nightly. Nightly. I'm sorry, I didn't hear the, the question, but oh, if you no. did, you're all set. Frequency then. of backups. Okay. Yep. All right, any further questions or comments? Otherwise, we'll vote by roll call. Hirsch. Aye. Hamilton? Aye. Wadley? Aye. Borsma? Aye. Austin? Aye. Reeves? Aye. Majewski? Aye. Engelberger? Aye. Jensen? Aye. 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 O'Connor? Aye. Bartlett? Aye. Motion passes 12 to 0. Thank you. <coughs> Resolution 162 of 2017 comes from our Planning Commission. Alderperson Truel. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, Planning Commission brings forth Resolution 162, 2017. Uh, resolution approving an extraterritorial jurisdictional land division request by Ashley Eberson for property located at and adjacent to 1937 Quam Drive in the town of Dunn, Dane County. Um, and I would move approval. Second. There's a motion by Truel, second by Engelberger. Alderperson Truel. It's a routine matter. Um, the one thing that we do need, uh, the reason it, it, uh, we need to take action is uh, this is a creation of uh, take, uh, joining two lots that end up uh, for uh, a residential lot that's actually 0.48 acres, uh, which is below the normal minimum size uh, that we look for. Um, but again, it's, it's out on Quam Drive. Um, and it, it, uh, staff and, and uh, Planning Commission uh, support this. Thank you. Alderperson Hirsch. Uh, Scott or Rodney, could you explain that? So you're, you're putting two lots together and there's still only 0.48 total? Yeah, that's correct. This is a rural, a rural location, so it's in our territorial jurisdiction. It's not within the city limits. The combined two lots would be just under an acre. Um, just for comparison, many of the older single-family lots are um, 8,712 square feet as opposed to this, which will be about 20,000 square feet. Okay, so it's bigger. I mean, I guess it's, it was kind of the... No. Yeah, but in our extraterritorial jurisdiction area, the area that's not within our city limits but within our, our um, oversight area, the ordinances allow for lots to be a minimum lot size of one acre in a maximum size of two and a half acres. So um, it's recognizing that in many of your rural settings, you're going to have a well and septic probably on, on that site as well. This particular one actually will be part of the um, Santeri Sewer District that does uh, go around Lake Eganza, uh, but I think it'll have its own well on, its, on the site. So just to clear, right now the lots are actually really, really small, and you're combining them to make... I mean, it's the way it's written. It, it's it, it seems odd if the lights lots are already s too small, and you're combining them. They're still not meeting their ordinance. Well, let, let me just clarify. We're not. Oh, I know, I know, I know. It's an extra 
territorial. Right. I'm just trying to understand how it was written. It, it, it just seemed odd. In the rural section, the interest in the city is to not to create subdivisions within our extraterritorial jurisdiction without having full range of public services, i.e. generally being within the city limits. This particular area is a developed area um, adjacent to the lake and it's already platted. Um, the applicant desires to create a larger parcel so that they can create a, a home as well as um, in, in their mind uh, an appropriately sized home on this particular site and saw each individual lot not being able to accomplish what they are hoping to have happen. And our code would require it to be in this rural area a minimum acreage of one acre so that we're not trying to create small lot subdivisions within our ETJ area. Okay. But Virginia, you are correct. I mean, effectively, this is two lots that when combined will be just under a half acre, 20,000 square feet. Right, so the two lots by themselves don't meet mm -hmm. their own their own ordinance of being an acre or more. That's all I was, that's all I was trying to but, no. clarify. They could meet their own ordinance. Uh, we're, I'm talking about what our ordinance well, yeah. requirements our, are. Okay. Our the t these were probably properly platted within the town and buildable parcels under the town regulations. Their desire is to create a larger parcel for them to okay. construct on. I just want some clarification because yeah. it didn't read very well. Thank you yeah. very much. Sure. Thank you. Council President Swedley. Thank, thank you, Your Honor. So my attorney, uh, question is for Attorney Dragney. Is this an ordinance that we can really even enforce? Um, we have really it's limited authority. Um, extraterritorially, <laughs> it's been a little while since I've looked at, you know, the you know the list of what we can and can't do. <clears throat> so the lot size, minimum and maximum lot size requirements extraterritorially. I'm as I sit here right now, I'm just not sure whether that's within our authority, but our authority has been whittled away to almost nothing. So well, I guess what I'm suggesting is, is at some point we should maybe look at that ordinance. That would make sense to almost me. All of them. Any further comments or questions? All those in favor, aye. 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 Opposed, no. Motion carries. Resolution 163 of 2017 comes from our Public Works Committee. Alderperson Jensen. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. Um, Public Works Committee would uh, like to present Resolution 163, 2017. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. Resolving authority. Well, excuse me, I'm going to go to the new one. <laughs> uh, authorizing directing the proper city officials to enter into an agreement with Bikester Holdings LLC, Naughty Norsky, to allow the installation of lights on Jefferson Street Pedestrian Bridge. And I would so move. Second. Exactly. Motion by Jensen, second by Borsma. Mm -hmm. Alderperson Jensen. Yes, uh, this was brought to us by uh, Dave Bikester, and uh, it seemed like an excellent idea uh, to light the bridge. Is, uh, uh, had many comments that I've seen on it that it's, uh, people enjoyed it when it was lit. Uh, he's holding off now until we approve this and then he'll be uh, uh, going ahead with uh, lighting that bridge. Um, no cost to the city. Uh, he's signing a an agreement. I'm trying to remember what that was. With yep, it's a license agreement. agreement. Yeah, license, yeah. licensing yeah. agreement. So it, it, the city's uh, liability is zero. Um, I think it's a good move. Thank you. Comments or questions? Alderperson Johnson. Hi, thank you. Um, what, when I look, read through this, does, is there a determination of what types or size and or anything that's, that's going to be on there? For code. It's, it has to all meet code. Okay. Everything has to meet code. Okay. Um, including the power going to the, to the bridge has to meet code. And all of that is something that he has to do and it has to go through uh, okay. uh, an inspection. Okay. And it's going to be all LED lighting. Thank you. All those in favor? I guess my question is, is, is this agreement, is this transferable or is this, if, if you were to sell the place or It's something? between us and him. Between okay. So and, your, and, uh, your question would be, the answer would, would be It would not be no. transferable as I understand it. The attorney may. I'm, uh, I'm just looking to see if it addresses that. I didn't see any language in there that. But because it wasn't I addressed, I would it. assume that it would not be. Uh, the, the agreement grants the right to just to Naughty Norsky, uh, so I don't think it's assignable. 
and right. in addition, it, the city has the right to terminate it at any time. So. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Further comments or questions? Alder Person O'Connor. Um, at the Public Works Committee, I think we also talked about item number seven, hours of operation to go till 3 a.m. rather than <coughs> midnight, um, help people late at night to cross the bridge. Very nice. But not semi trucks. Not <laughs> semi trucks. No, okay. So that's good. That's good. I'd offer that up as an amendment. All the person may ask you. Was there any comment from the any of the neighbors regarding lighting of the bridge? Yes, there was uh, some comment. Um, everything was positive. The only person that had any concern uh, also uh, came back and said that uh, you, they were in favor of it. Excuse me. Uh, there was one person who did have some concerns, but after the they they talked with them, uh, they were in favor of of having the bridge lighted. And I I'm sorry, all the person O'Connor, you made an amendment. To, to the motion, okay. It's a motion to amend? To 3, 3 a.m. To 3 a.m. instead of midnight as identified under item 7 in the agreement. Is there a second to I'll that second. motion? Second? I think it was already. Yep. Yeah. Yep, there's a second by Older Person Jensen to amend item number 7 in the licensure agreement to change it from, and the timer would go off at midnight to the timer would go off at 3 a.m. Further comments or questions regarding that amendment? Alderperson Hirsch. Um, do we not have to uh, ask Naughty Norsky if they want to put it till 3 a.m.? Because they're pay putting the bill of. That, that was their request. That was their request? Yeah, and they actually wanted to. The request was for 2.30, and we suggested just going to 3. That way, he was, he was concerned about his patrons. If his, his patrons used the bridge, uh, oh. then they could get across when it was still lit instead of being not lit. So we said, okay, let's make it three o'clock just to be round number. Now, because it's later than midnight, now has that gone back to the neighbors to let them know that it would be from midnight to 3 a.m. and if they would have a problem with that? As far as I know, no, it has not. Okay. okay. And we are talking okay. decorative lighting versus, you know, a big, big lamp lighting the, the way it, so it's pretty unobtrusive. Seeing no further comments. Oops, all the person might ask you. Uh, style of lighting. Who is L LED. No, that's not light and that type. Style. Oh, style. It's, it's, uh, you can see it. It's there right now. The lights are already there. They're um, uh, just a strip of LED lighting that is attached to the bottom of the railing so it projects downward. Right. Okay. So we have a motion on the floor to amend. No further comments on the amendment. All those in favor, aye. 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 Opposed, no. That motion carries. Back to the original motion to approve resolution 163 of 2017. All the person I just like the fact that the city can flip the switch or pull the plug on the agreement if we need to. Mm -hmm. So I'll be voting in favor of this. Okay. Great. Yes, it can be modified at any time. Mm -hmm. Okay. All those in favor, aye. 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 Opposed, no. That motion carries. Resolution 164 of 2017 comes from our Parks and Recreation Committee. Alderperson Hirsch. Uh, resolution 164-2017, resolution by the Common Council of the City of Stoughton, approving a right-of-way easement for a public recreation trail with Stoughton Hospital to provide access for a walk, a walk bike trail. Mm -hmm. And I so move. A motion by Hirsch, second by Bartlett. Alderperson Hirsch. This is uh, the extension of the trail that we've been waiting for. That's basically from, um, that extends where the Frisbee Gulf area is, that trail <coughs> back behind, um, is it Scotland? Uh, landfill, yep. Yep, <coughs> up to the hospital. And then the hospital will have a trail coming down. Mm -hmm. So this is the easement we've been Tom has diligently been working on for many years getting through and so is Matt going back and forth with the attorneys. Taking so a while. It's taken a while. So I highly recommend that we approve this. Thank you. Comments? Questions? All those in favor, aye. 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 Opposed, no. This motion carries. 
Ordinance 19 of 2017 is before us tonight for a first reading from our Planning Commission. Alderperson Truel. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, Planning Commission brings forth uh, Ordinance 19-2017, an ordinance amending the zoning classification of 314 West Main Street, City of Stoughton, from Plan Business to Plan Development, General Development Plan. Uh, and this will come back to us in two weeks for action. Thank you. Comments or questions? As Alderperson Trill said, we'll talk more in two weeks. Uh, one. Move to adjourn. Second. Motion by O'Connor, second by Trill. All those in favor, aye. 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 Opposed, no. Motion carried. I forgot to say the no, didn't I, Dennis? <laughs> <laughs> Almost a record. I think so. So we haven't beaten Bob. Well. Some of the ones that you have. Bob used to have 10-minute ones.